It has literally changed my life. I didn't think it was as important as it is. It's like insane how much something so small can change your life so drastically. back to my channel so in today's video I am going to be sharing my top 10 habits to start including in your morning routine for a more productive successful and happier you when you start to implement any of these 10 habits you will start to see your life change in a positive way so if you're new, my name's Kaylee and I post videos on law of attraction, happiness, becoming your best self and living your best life. So if any of that sounds good to you, go ahead and subscribe down below and let's just get on with today's video. Okay, so habit number one is a given. It's so obvious, but it is just to wake up earlier. Instead of waking up and rushing to get ready and rushing out the door, maybe wake up an hour earlier or even a half hour earlier to take some time for yourself in the morning, to take some time to do things that make you feel good, or maybe it will give you extra time to be productive in the mornings or just take extra time for yourself. You will feel refreshed and ready to take on the mornings when you wake up earlier and give yourself that extra hour or half hour because then you will start your morning off on the right note. So if you're thinking to yourself that you are not a morning person at all and you hate mornings and you hate waking up in the morning, start telling yourself that you love mornings and that you are a morning person and you will start to become a morning person because what you tell yourself and what you think is what manifests into existence and that's what you actually are so tell yourself you're a morning person and you will start to love the mornings you will start to wake up especially once you have a morning routine set down that you love and that makes you feel good and or makes you feel productive or makes you feel healthy you will start to look forward to the mornings before I had a morning routine it was hard for me to get out of bed but ever since I started a morning routine for myself mornings are one of my most favorite times of the day and I look forward to my mornings and I love them so much. So a tip I have for waking up early and actually getting out of bed in the morning is to leave your phone out of the room. I started doing this recently for the past about month and it has helped me actually get up and get out of bed instead of just laying there for a half hour or an hour. And before I know it, my morning is gone. So if you sleep with your phone out of your room and you have a separate alarm clock to wake you up, you have no reason to just lay in bed. You should get up and be excited for the day. So my morning routine habit number two is to drink lemon water. Lemon is so beneficial and healthy for you. And when you drink it in the morning, it helps with digestion. It helps with detoxification. It can boost your immune system. It can give you energy. It can keep your skin healthy and glowing and it can reduce inflammation in the body. So lemon water is super healthy for you. I like to take half of a lemon and juice it and put it in some water and just drink that really quickly in the mornings. And if you don't like the taste of just plain lemon water, you can also put it into a smoothie or something. I have this awesome smoothie recipe that I love and tastes so good but it is kale, spinach, a green apple, banana, lemon, ginger, and apple juice. And then sometimes I will also add a splash of coconut water, but this smoothie tastes so good and it is an easy way to get in some greens and to get in your lemon for the day. And ginger also has amazing benefits as well, so this is like a super health amazing smoothie. Okay, and then my third morning habit is to stay present. I like to practice being present throughout my whole day, but in the morning it's the easiest time for me to stay present because I'm not working or I'm not doing certain tasks where my mind can wander because I'm really focused on what I'm doing in the morning and just giving myself the best morning. So being present is super easy in the mornings. If you just set the intention to be present throughout your whole morning routine, it helps you just be in the present moment and take get the most out of your mornings. So I have a couple quotes I want to read about being present. So the first is, there's only one time that is important. Now, it is the most important time because it is the only time that we have any power. And then the second is that the secret of health for both mind and body is not to mourn for the past nor to worry about the future, but to live in the present moment wisely and earnestly. So those quotes kind of explain how being in the present moment is so beneficial for you. It relieves stress and it puts all your power into the present moment, which is the only moment that we have and the only moment that actually matters because the future hasn't happened yet and the past has already happened and that's in the past and all that matters is right now. So it brings you your power back and you can focus on the present moment and on doing what feels right. It's so good for your mind and your body and your soul. I've noticed that ever since I started living more in the present moment, things started manifesting to me quicker. I started being happier and just more vibrant and feeling more alive and just more free and more genuine. So I like to make the intention in the morning just to be present because it's so easy right when you wake up to set that intention and to actually stay present during your morning routine. Okay, and then my fourth habit is to stretch. I like to do this for just about five or 10 minutes in the morning, but it really helps you get your body moving, get your blood flowing, start bringing energy into your body and just feeling good and bringing movement into your body. So I like to get on my yoga mat and just do a few stretches and maybe some yoga poses, do a little bit of movement to just feel good and feel 
feel ready for the day. It's just so beneficial because it helps to relieve tension and it helps you to get in just a relaxed and good mood for the day. And also if you have a job where you're sitting down all day like me, stretching will help with the flexibility in your muscles that you lose from just sitting around all day. So I highly recommend incorporating stretching into your morning routine. And my fifth morning habit is to practice gratitude. So I do this with my five minute gratitude journal and you can do it with or without this journal but practicing gratitude for just a few minutes in the morning really brings a sense of happiness to your life. I notice that when I'm practicing gratitude consistently, I feel so much happier with life. I just feel so much more positive and more like I'm capable of making my dreams come true. And doing it in the morning just sets you in a higher vibration to take on the rest of your day. When you're grateful about what you have right now, you start feeling abundant and you start feeling like things can flow to you easier and you stop feeling lack. So I highly recommend practicing gratitude, especially in the morning, but what I like to do with the journal is to practice for five minutes in the morning and then also five minutes at night. I love it because it has prompts for you to easily just fill in. So if you are interested in that journal, I will have it linked below for you to just check it out. But you can also practice gratitude by just thinking to yourself of a few things that you're grateful for and why you're grateful for these things. And also just thinking to yourself what you want to get out of the day and what you want to accomplish. Think of a few things that will make your day great and just set the intention to have a good day. I used to look at gratitude as something that just wasn't so important but it has literally changed my life i didn't think it was as important as it is but it's like insane how much something so small can change your life so drastically it really changes like every aspect of your life okay and then one of my absolute favorite things to do in the morning because it really just gets me on the right path and gets me motivated and inspired for the day is to plan my day so i use this law of attraction planner to plan out my day every morning and i absolutely love it and i highly recommend it if you do want to look at it i will also have that linked below but but what I like to do is kind of do a rough outline of my day the night before and then the morning of I like to finish planning my day and just relook at it and know what I want to achieve that day and know what I'm doing that day because it will re-motivate me and get me ready and inspired for the day. This is something that if you want to be successful in life, if you want to make your dream come true, if you have a goal or a vision, I highly recommend this habit because it keeps you from just sitting around. It keeps you from just kind of going about your day and not really knowing what you're doing and kind of just having all these things in your head and not having it down on paper. I think having it down in a schedule really makes you achieve so much more with your day. Okay, and then my seventh habit is to meditate or visualize. So I like to do this for just about five or 10 minutes a day. You can do this by just sitting there and thinking about what you want out of life, thinking about where you will be once you have reached your goal or dream and just visualizing your dream in the best version of you. You can also use a vision board, which I like to use. And I made this vision board last year so if you want to see me make a new vision board for the year, I will be posting that in my next one to two videos. So subscribe if you would like to see that. But when you have a vision board that's filled with pictures that makes you feel good and makes you feel inspired and makes you just feel happy and feel all those emotions that you want to feel once you do achieve your goal or your vision or whatever it is, then that will really get you in the right vibration to achieve your goals and to manifest what you want more quickly. So I think this is great to do every morning because it gets you in the right mindset and it gets you remembering what your vision is or remembering what your goals are so that you won't stray away from that throughout the day. And it'll make your dreams come true and you will live the life that you want to live. And you can also meditate on this by just closing your eyes and thinking about it. But if you're more of a visual person like me, I really do like to use a vision board. Okay, and my number eighth habit is to turn on good inspirational music or a good and inspirational podcast. Listening to music that makes you feel good will just put you in the right mood and make you excited and happy to be awake. Music has a way of just setting the right mood or setting the right tone. So put on something that makes you feel good. Put on something inspirational. There are so many good podcasts out there. And if you just go and search for a podcast that you like, you can start to get inspired by listening to these podcasts. It just gets you feeling good and maybe gets you thinking a little more, gets you feeling maybe creative. And it's just a great way to start your day. But yeah, I really like listening to good music or a good podcast while I'm making my breakfast in the morning or while I'm getting ready. My ninth habit is to take my vitamins and supplements. So I take three different supplements in the morning. One is a daily vitamin and I also take magnesium and I take a digestive enzyme. And now I'm not a doctor or anything, but I just think you need to listen to your body and do what feels right and do what feels good. And for me, for example, taking magnesium every day has helped relieve me of migraines. I used to get migraines at least three times a month, usually more, and now I get maybe one a year. So yeah, just listen to your body and do what feels right and do what makes you feel good. And I also take other supplements throughout the day. For example, spirulina makes me feel so good and can probably replace coffee for me. I can do a separate video on supplements because everything I take I absolutely love and there's a special reason why I take each thing that I do take. And all together, it just makes me feel really good. 
but I like to include taking supplements in the morning so I don't forget and also just to make me feel like healthy and like I got all my nutrients that I need for the day. And finally, my 10th habit for the morning is to start my day off with a healthy breakfast. So one of my all-time favorites is oatmeal, but I also like to make avocado toast once in a while and acai bowls. But it's important to fuel your body with something healthy in the morning and to stay away from the sugary pancakes or waffles and all that type of stuff because you want to give your body the most in the morning. You want to fill it with good nutrients that will keep you feeling good and energized throughout the day. Breakfast is one of my favorite meals and I love making it healthy and I love making it taste good. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. These are 10 habits that I have included in my morning routine that have helped me a lot and have helped me just feel happier and more healthy and more productive and successful. And even if you just take a couple of these habits, you will start to see your life transform for the better and you will start to be a more positive and happier version of yourself. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and leave a comment down below letting me know any habits that you have implemented in your morning routine that has helped you have a better, more successful and happy day. And if you want to stick around, go ahead and subscribe down below. I'm going to be posting tons of videos this year and I would love to see you in my next one. Like I've mentioned before, I post videos on law of attraction, happiness, becoming your best self, and living out your dreams. So I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night and I will see you in my next video.